Do you ever wonder how your lipstick is put together? Well, speculate no more as we show you the fascinating processes it goes through before it's ready to be slicked onto your lips. Hit the red button below to subscribe to our channel and watch our video to discover how lipstick is made. Creating the shade. Lipsticks start off with the shade being made. Different pigments are mixed together in powder form to create the perfect color. There are huge numbers to choose from, and this is where the experts come in. They create different shades by weighing out various pigments and combining them. The amounts have to be exact so the final hue can be replicated time and time again. Liquid Time The next step is to mix the solvents together. Different solvents are poured together in ratios that only the makers know to create the perfect blend. This liquid mixture is then combined with a special powder to create the concoction that gets poured into the pigment. As you'd expect, workers wear gloves to protect their skin from the chemicals. With some brands, machinery does most of the work. All the raw ingredients that go into making lipsticks are tested and inspected. Combining Pigments and Solvents this next stage is a bit like baking, in that the wet and dry ingredients are mixed together. Of course, this is one mixture you would never want to eat. The liquid solvent mixture is poured into a bowl of pigment powder. In some factories, a person will stir it all together to create a smooth texture. In other manufacturing plants, machines will do this part, with the ingredients mixed together in a large vat. This is the first step to getting the consistency just right. Get rolling. The texture isn't quite there yet though. The pigment and solvent mixture is placed into rollers. These machines spin around fast and take the gloop through their cylinders, evening out the consistency and color. They sort of look like pasta machines, but you don't have to crank these high-tech models by hand. The mix comes out the other side looking much smoother. Wax Attack So now we're on to the next ingredient, and that's wax. This substance adds body to the lipstick to help it stay in its perfectly cylindrical shape in the tube. The wax is added to the rolled pigment and solvent mixture and then heated. It might have to stay there for a few hours in order to melt. The hot container is removed with tongs once the wax is melted. Shape up! The molten lipstick liquid is now ready to take shape. While it's still hot, it gets poured into a solid mold that has cylinder shapes cut into it. The liquid slips down into the holes and each section fills up with liquid lipstick. As it starts to cool down, it becomes solid. This leaves a layer of excess on the top that is solid enough to be scraped away. This might get remelted and used again. Lipstick, meet your applicator. So the stick of lipstick itself is now complete. It just needs to be introduced to its buddy, the applicator. This is done with a precise technique to ensure that everything fits just right. Metal sticks of the same size and shape push the cylinders of solid lipstick out of the mold they were cast in. They're then pushed into the applicators with a similar technique. This means they never have to be touched by hand as that could damage these delicate products. Quality Assured as you'd expect with a complicated process like this, there are occasions when it doesn't quite work out right. Nobody wants a lipstick that doesn't have a perfect point at the top, or doesn't have smooth sides, or can't stand up straight. So that's where the workers ensure that the quality of each product is perfect. They discard any that don't measure up to their high standards. There can be around 30 checks made throughout the process, from when the raw materials arrive to when the finished product is ready for dispatch. Branding. The containers for the lipsticks are usually put through machines in the manufacturing plant to have the branding added. Certain makeup brands use particular colors throughout their cosmetics ranges, so you can spot a specific make from several paces away. They also use recognizable text fonts for their writing, and have eye-catching logos, all of which are applied to the containers and packaging before the lipstick itself is added in. Boxed up and ready to go! When the lipsticks in their applicators are ready for their boxes, they go through more checks, like being twisted up and down to ensure smooth movement. You wouldn't want a lipstick that falls out of its applicator or comes out at an angle. Then they're slipped inside their boxes. The different shades of lipsticks are placed into their matching packaging. Most lipstick shades are identified by a number, a name, and a color on the end of their boxes. And voila, that's how lipstick is made. Check out our friends at The Things who make interesting, feel-good videos about lifestyle, pop culture, and everything viral that is sure to keep you entertained. Now you know how lipstick is made. Which part of the process did you find most interesting? Tell us in the comments and give us a big thumbs up.